Hi there. I'd like to show you how easily we're going to make a cup of our solution. As you know, with our Willie Mason jar um, color wheel dye system, we use primaries only. So here I have one cup of just boiled water. I have the jar that I'm going to be putting our solutions into. This is um, you could use any size jar you want, whatever you're usually using. I've got uh, chestnut brown. Ooh, I've got the covers mixed up here. Okay. Chestnut brown and red. So, in order, in order to make our solution, every single cup of woolly mason jar solution that you will be making will always be the same weight. One gram of dye powder of the primary to one cup of boiling water and always along with the primary will be that bit of unifying brown that I like to put to develop the colors into a palette and that will only go into your primary colors so put your little plastic weigh boat on the scale turn the scale on it will calibrate itself to zero you can see that and first you're going to take, I'm reaching across here, your red dye, that's red, and we're going to put one gram in there. So it's at 50 right now, 96, so from here I'm going to be careful to do it slowly. So I went a touch over, so I'm just going to take a tiny bit out. Whoops. And that's close enough for me. Okay, so that's one. So we're going to take a tiny bit of the already measured water and put it in the bottom of our jar. This is so that when we put the dye powder in, it will go into the water and it won't be it won't stay airborne because that's a that's a toxic part is breathing the uh, dyes as they're in the powder form. So now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to use the same boat because it's all going into the same jar but I'm going to recalibrate it to put the chestnut brown in and the chestnut brown we simply want 0.1 gram so that is tiny 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 little bit. So let's see what we have. 0.5 this little bit in all three jars really makes your colors more beautiful. It's so little it hardly even registers. Six, twelve. Okay, we'll just take a tiny bit out. It's kind of fiddly. Of course, it's going to act up when you... Sometimes I pile it in the middle. You know what? I think we're going to just go with 9. If you're that close, don't worry about it. I put a touch more in, so... It can be 9, it can be 11. This is going to be fine. So, we're dumping it into the jar with the other ones. And as you see there is still powder left in there. So this is what I do. I just take the cup of remaining water and I'll just push this in and out. You see how much remains on there? I'll push this in and out of the water until it comes out clear. That way you've gotten all the dye. Just be careful with your fingers but you'll have gloves and everything on. So you see that now? I'm not sure if you can see there it's clean so with this remaining water I'll pour a little bit more into the red now you can see where the water the red doesn't really like to absorb it kind of reminds me of cocoa and you know if you've ever made hot cocoa you have to really urge it to 
to go into the water. So what I do is I make like a slurry here, just a little bit with the red, especially it's stubborn. And I stir, stir, stir. There we go. And with the red, if you gently add a little bit more, because if you dump it all in there, it sometimes acts bad a little bit of a bad actor and it might want to separate and look goopy so just do it slowly and you'll have a beautiful one cup of your red woolly mason jar solution in just moments and you'll do this this is how you when you run out of your colors you just simply make one cup at a time or could possibly be two cups so now I have one cup with my red primary which I can use to help make my other colors or on its own or whatever I wish to do